And I promise you that as a steward that I have the privilege to be, we will act responsibly and we will manage the affairs of the country with integrity and with selflessness so that we can build a nation of hope that people know that their government cares. Let me say this, or let me disclose. You know, when I saw the debate in Kenya as to how I traveled to the US, you know, and there was you know, all manner of uh, figures, you know. Uh, this plane is this big and it is like this. Google here, Google there. This one must have costed 200 million because the president needed to, uh, to arrive in style in the US, <laughs> holding Rachel's hand. <laughs> You know, I am a very responsible steward, believe you me. There is no way I can spend 200 million. There is no way. In fact, let me disclose here that it costed the Republic of Kenya less than 10 million. Because, let me tell you, I am not, I am not a madman. When I was told the cheapest uh, plane was 70 million, I told my office, go book Kenya Airways. Yeah? So when some friends of mine heard that uh, I was going to travel Kenya with, and uh, we have built a big reputation as a country. We have built friends. Some friends told me, how much do you want to pay? I said, I'm not ready to pay more than 20 million. They said, bring 10 million, we will give you the plane. Look at me, Kenyans. Look at me again. I must lead from the front. As I tell others, as I tell others to tighten up their belt, mine must be where to begin. So relax, you know, and, and, and the debate must end because I am that responsible and it is going to be that way we are going to make sure that we tighten up our belts we live within our means in fact my plan is that in three years we must have a balanced budget we cannot continue <laughs> to have a budget that has a deficit, that before you begin, you have to borrow. I have every person, including the leadership of Treasury, Professor Ndungu, Kipto, and all the others, that that's where we are going. And I'm very proud of the support I get from my economic team, led by Professor Ndi and all the other people there. They're doing a good job. Now, in conclusion, I said in our national anthem, we pray that we shall flourish in a land of plenty. That is the Kenya we all want, and that is the Kenya we all aspire for. I want to thank you very much for coming for this uh, prayer breakfast. 
I, I, you are the best country that I know. And <laughs> if I had another chance to be born, I would want to be born Kenyan. <laughs> God bless you all. God bless our great country. Thank you very much. I don't think those round of applause are not sufficient and adequate. Th thank you very much, Your Excellency. I think you will be seated. Uh, I'd like to call upon now the Speaker of the National Assembly, the Right Honorable Senator Moses Wetangula, to come and give a vote of thanks. And Your Excellency, we have a publishing uh, company which we partner with. Uh, they give out Bibles to presidents.